question, please uh, ask me, and I will hand you the mic so we can make sure to get the audio of the question. Coach. Uh, first of all, I'm really, I'm really proud of our guys, obviously. I mean, that was, uh, you guys watched it. Uh, I thought North Dakota played probably as well as they can possibly play. Uh, they were playing fast. They made seem like they made every shot known to man, uh, and it's a credit to them. And I think, you know, a lot of teams might have given in on that second half when we got down 12 or whatever it was, and we're discouraged when they're doing that. And our guys just, they, they, they decided not to do that. And uh, this team is, I know you hear it a lot, you know, from teams, but this team is resilient. <laughs> they love to fight through adversity, and that's exactly what we needed to do tonight. And it wasn't pretty, and it was tough, and we had to, it's like slugging rats out there. Um, but we had to find a way, and that's what they did. We, we, we got just enough stops. Uh, we had some guys really step up uh, that I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, we had a great defensive performance in the second half by Scotty on Troy Huff, and uh, we just found a way to make, basically it came down to we made one more play than they did. But I, I, I got to give my hats off to North Dakota. I thought they were well prepared. I thought they played absolutely terrific. And, uh, and you know, I'm sure that's a tough one for them, but they did a great job. Coach, the, uh, focus, the defensive focus on the last play, was it to keep the ball out of Troy's hands? We didn't want him to make a three, to be honest with you. We were going to switch ball screens. Scott had uh, Troy, and I, Scott's a really smart player, so he knew if he could keep it out of his hands, he would. But the bottom line is we just couldn't give up a three to lose the game and uh, do the best job we could at keeping them in front because we thought they'd drive. It looked to me like they were trying to get a three uh, to win the game, but uh, basically that was our whole mindset was don't give a three, and if they do drive to the basket, make sure that we do the best job we can to keep it in front of us and then everybody's got to be a rebounder. Scott, when you, when you guys are down 12 and you're in the huddle from here, it looks like there's a lot of looks of concern. What would it look like in the huddle for you guys and what were you thinking about? Um, you know, a lot of, I mean, we never... You know, a lot of teams, you know, say they come back and win. They say we never thought we were going to lose, you know. But at that point in time, I felt like, you know, that was a time where we needed someone to get everybody together and, and make a push, you know what I'm saying? Get everybody together. Want everybody on the bench uh, need to come together, and I just felt like I needed to do that, so I grabbed everybody, and I just felt like um, give us some confidence, you know what I mean? A lot of things weren't going. They play, play well. They hit a lot of shots, and a lot of things weren't going well for us. But I knew if we just we stuck it, we 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 stuck together right there, um, paid, made a push, we'd have a chance. And but I knew at the time, in that time out, that if we didn't do it now, we weren't going to do it. So I just felt like at that point in time, we need to do it, and we we did. So. Scott, um, so, yeah. I think you hit your first two uh, three point attempts, and I think you missed six in a row. Um, can you talk about what happened? I think a couple of blocks were in there, and then. Uh, Talk about the one that tied the game the second round. Yeah, you know, I was in a rhythm early. You know, my teammates found me. My uh, sets of good screens, good good passes, and um, so I was a I was in the rhythm early, and then for some reason I got out of rhythm. It didn't feel normal. I was shooting. It didn't feel good, and so. But I mean, it, the thing that the thing that it is is the coaches show confidence in me. The players, everybody's telling me you're gonna make your next shot. You know, and we when we set up the play and they ran it. Uh, I think someone told me to come up to me and say, I'm set a good screen, and you're going to make the shot. And it's just that confidence that we have that they got in me and I got in them. And the coaches got me and I got in them. And so, um, but yeah, I got out of the rhythm, but I, I got back in rhythm at the late in the games. So. i got one rule for Scott, and I've told him this since he arrived at, at Weaver State, that if you don't take a shot when you're open, you're coming out of the game. All right? And uh, we got great faith in him, and uh, I want him taking that shot every single time. Joel, when there was a string, you guys were down 12, and all of a sudden there was a couple turnovers, and then you make three straight baskets all on jams, and the team seemed to feed on that a little bit. Did you sense that, or was it? what was your feeling at that point? Yeah, I definitely sensed it. I just, uh, when I came back in, I just tried to get us going defensively, and, uh, and uh, opportunities presented itself on offense, just take opportunities, and they happened to uh, come in a positive way. Coach, uh, Wayne Nelson, Harold of Grand Forks. Can you talk a little bit about Joel Spurt there? That, did that energize, you know, at, at that time, what you needed? No question. It was huge. Came in and gave us great energy, gave us great confidence. Uh, and it was defensively, too. I mean, he got a couple blocks, he ran the floor, he got a couple dunks. Uh, our guys like it when he dunks. Um, 
I like it when he dunks. <laughs> uh, but it was a huge momentum for us. I think we went down 12 and we got it back to six really quickly. And then all of a sudden our confidence, you know, obviously got a little bit higher and the guy started to believe. So uh, it was a huge stretch, whatever that was, two to three you know, minutes that uh, got us back on track. Coach, um, Kyle is in foul trouble, and uh, you need your bench to come up and do some job, do a job for you. Is this sort of a coming of age game for Joel? I mean, as far as the way he responded to that. I'll be honest with you, he came of age a long time ago. You know, this isn't the first time he's done that, and uh, he's 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 done it. You know, uh, before Christmas, he's done it after Christmas. Uh, you know. Joel's, I told him a long time ago, after we got playing some games, you're not a freshman no more. And he hasn't been playing like one. And uh, the biggest thing I think with is, is Joel works extremely hard. Joel w wants to be a very good player. He's constantly in the gym. And guys like Scott, have, Scott has taken him under his wing, and Scott has really been a great mentor to him and helped him. And that's really helped his progression along. But we had, we had uh, not only that, but I thought Jalon Wilwright came in and gave us a huge spark. James Hyatt came in and was a tough, tough guy out there defensively. Uh, they gave us, you know, those guys all gave us great lifts. And so we got we got a lot of lifts from a lot of people. You know, Tresnick being in foul trouble, we needed something. Uh, Joel stepped up, but we had some other guys too. Uh, question for both players. It's still 24 hours away, but does the, the level of competitiveness of this game do anything for you guys going into a championship contest? No. We're ready. We're ready for it, and, you know. We talk about people saying three games in three days. We don't care. You know what I mean? We'd rather play a game than practice. So um, we'll be ready. There'll be no excuses. We'll, we'll, everyone in the, in the locker room will be ready. So. Yeah, for the most part, I think uh, we'll come out ready and just keep our heads up. Last question. Uh, Coach Ray, can you talk a little bit about uh, the second semifinal? Who do you, ex you expect, if anybody, who you'd rather play? Well, I'm never going to get caught into that one. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really not very bright, guys. You can ask my wife, but I'm not that dumb. Uh, you know what? Obviously, Northern Colorado played well last night. Uh, I think it's going to be a good ball game. You know, obviously with Montana. Can't answer it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Scott needs to be a coach someday. Uh, but, you know, obviously Montana being at home. They haven't lost here for, I don't know, how long. But I think it's going to be a good ball game, and I'm going to give the old coach speak. Whoever wins, we're going to be ready for tomorrow, and we're going to be ready to go play. That's what we do. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.